But first tonight, the Texas Attorney General has had a very busy week. First, the FBI agent serving subpoenas on Attorney General Ken Paxton's downtown office as part of an investigation, that investigation, focusing on whether Paxton abused his office to help a high-end campaign donor. Let's bring in KVU senior reporter Tony Plahetsky tonight, who broke the latest developments yesterday and has been tracking this investigation. Tony, a lot of national discussion today and debate today on whether Paxton is trying to get himself a presidential pardon in this investigation investigation against him. What are political experts and operatives in Austin saying about that? Well, Brian, that has definitely been a working theory really over the past several days is why would Ken Paxton enter into this discussion, particularly among Democrats? The idea, the notion of a pardon as part of this criminal investigation has been one of the theories that they have been discussing. But there are other ideas as well. One of them is that Ken Paxton simply wants to shift the focus from the criminal investigation involving him onto something else. But Brian, it's important to note that Ken Paxton and his supporters, particularly Ken Paxton himself and his attorney, is saying, listen, there's no reason to be discussing a pardon. Ken Paxton firmly believes that he has done nothing wrong as it relates to the FBI investigation happening now. All right, Tony, explain how this works now. If there were a pardon, if there was a pardon, does that mean that the charges that Paxton is already facing in Collin County in North Texas, does that mean they would go away? Brian, the answer to that is no. Those are security fraud charges that were brought against Kim Paxton five years ago. There has been a lot of back and forth really between both sides over the past several years about those charges. But prosecutors have said steadfastly that they plan to continue to pursue that case against Kim Paxton. Federal pardons only apply to just that federal cases, not state charges. Brian, one thing that I have heard increasingly being discussed really over the past week is that should Ken Paxton get some sort of presidential pardon from President Trump, that potentially the new district attorney here in Travis County may take up an investigation into those claims being made against Ken Paxton. All right, let's finish with that. The FBI investigation that you reported on uh, yesterday and talked about uh, uh, today as well. Would charges in that investigation need to be filed before any pardon could even be considered in that case? Brian, the answer to that is no. As I understand presidential pardons based on the experts that I have been talking to is that the pardon applies to the conduct. Whether or not a criminal charge has actually been brought is not relevant to that discussion. Again, the allegations that are being investigated by the FBI right now, as a matter of fact, concerns conduct that Ken Paxton is alleged to have previously carried out over the past year or so. A case, no doubt, Tony, you'll be keeping your eyes on. Thank you for the very latest. Tony Plohetsky live in our newsroom on this Friday evening. Great to see you again, Tony. You too, Thank Brian. you. Thanks.